Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about QR codes, but more importantly, scannable QR codes. But before we get started, I wanted to mention that there are many ways to create QR codes with stable diffusion. But unfortunately, not all of them worked for me in a consistent manner. And in all honesty, I struggled a lot at getting the right mix between visual appeal and scannability. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show what did work and the settings I used to create scannable QR codes. I am super excited about generative AI. And with these videos on my channel, my hope is to share my journey with everyone. But please keep in mind, I am no expert on this topic. The first thing you are going to need is a QR code. So head over to QR.io, provide the text that you want embedded in the QR code, select the settings, for example, the shape that you want the QR code, then download as PNG. Unfortunately, this site does not allow us to set the error correction, which I'll show you in a moment. Another site you can look at is qrcode.antfoo.me. Over here, they have the option to set the error correction. I recommend you go with high so that more detail is embedded into the QR code. The other option I recommend is setting the margin to four. This is just helps for older generation phones to capture the image. Um, so go ahead, select your QR code, set the text you want to embed and download. If you're interested in to see what the error correction code is, I've got this picture up, which shows this marker down here in the bottom left, um, details what's low, medium, or high. And you want to aim for, for the 30% high error correction. So with that QR code generated, head over to Stable Diffusion. In Stable Diffusion, select your Stable Diffusion checkpoint. I think Rev Animated works best for me. Select the sampling method as DPM++ 2M Keras. Sampling steps as 15. Provide your width and height. Head over to Control Net. Expand it. Oops, not that. Expand Control Net. Enable both Control Net Unit 0 and Control Net Unit 1. In Control Net Unit 0, upload your QR code. Set the pre-processed processor to in-paint global harmonious, the model as brightness. Provide a control weight of 0.4, starting step is 0, and an ending step as 1. In unit 1, again, make sure it's enabled, provide your QR code, uh, set your preprocessor to in-paint global harmon harmonious, and your model as tile. Provide a control weight of 0.4, a starting step as 0.3, and an ending ste step as 0.7. Once you have done that, go ahead and type in your prompt. And click generate. What it will provide you is a scannable QR code with a beautiful picture of a Irish cottage. Go ahead and generate another one. Okay. Again, these QR codes are scannable. You might have to provide, put your phone a little bit close and then zoom away with your phone in order to get it to capture the, the QR code. But they are scannable. Next, let's try a different one. Let's try a bowl of rice or a plate of rice. And there you have it. Another QR code. If you want the QR code to pop out of the image a little bit more, go ahead and adjust these weights. I find making the control weight between 0 0.35 and 0 point, all the way to 0 0.45 does make the boldness of the QR code much better. 
back. Let's try another one. On the first. So here we have less detail of the prompt in this QR code. Let's bring this back down to 0 0.4. And that's what we were looking for. A little bit of a river, some trees, and a forest in the background. And the QR code that's scannable. That's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Automatic 1111, check out the links below in the description. As always, please support this channel by subscribing and clicking on the like button below.